Hello and welcome to FDS. My name is Nate and I'm your host. I don't have my the mic anywhere near. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Hello and welcome to FDS. My name is Nate and I'm your host. We are going back to Kickstarter for a Johannes Voss Playmat Campaign. Who is Johannes Voss? He is an artist for Magic the Gathering who has done such amazing cards as Blood Artist, Gallia, Gift of Orjava. Orjava, Orjav, Orjava, Orjava. Orjava, Orjava, Gift of Orjava, that planes with the awesome cute dog on it. He has done a ton of cards. He's doing a playmat campaign, which I'm excited about. I always love these campaigns because it's an opportunity to support the artist directly, and it's also a way to get some art on a playmat that you might not otherwise get. These are exclusives where these pieces of art will only ever be on playmats printed in this campaign. After they are done, they're gone. There's going to be no more. One unfortunate thing about this campaign, which is totally not the fault of Johannes Voss or OMA Store, but it will only be a signature stamp that will be on there. It won't actually be hand signed. And that's due to issues with shipping and COVID and, and all of that. And I, I do not fault them that at all. I completely understand. But it is worth mentioning that it will not be a hand signed playmat. It will be a hand stamped playmat with his signature. It will be the standard as small as possible logos in the corner and the art will be extended. This is something that Seb McKinnon did. I don't know if Seb McKinnon was the first to do this in the playmat campaign, but I know Seb McKinnon also expanded out his artwork. So that way artwork that typically wouldn't fit on a playmat now would fit on a playmat without having to zoom in on it, which I thought was pretty amazing. And Johannes Voss will be doing that as well. And just look at his list of cards. He has a ton. He's illustrated about 135 cards to date for Magic the Gathering. So there are a lot of cards and all of them are just goddamn gorgeous. He is an amazing artist. I love his work. I will be honest, that dog planes is probably one of my favorite planes because yeah, I freaking love it. Also, this gives me an opportunity to take a moment and point out the fact that Blood Artist, the artist is looking at you. Yeah, I thought it was looking at the canvas too for all these years. Imagine having that on a playmat. Creepy. He also did another land that I'm very fond of, the Elven Forest from Jumpstart, the one with all the spears. I really like that one. I think that one's fun. I'm a big fan of their style of art because it's it's a fantasy art that isn't too commercialized. It's able to maintain a very, forgive me for the clunkiness of this, but a painterly style. Like it, it, it still seems like a classical piece of art while also being fantastical, which I, I really like. He also does very well in playing in different styles. He can do a fantastic landscape, but then also do a piece with two fighting characters or with a focus on one scene. I also love their use of angles in scenes on the art. What your favorite Johannes Voss piece? I'd be curious to know. I, I don't know if I could pick one. Uh, I would say probably a tie between the Dog Plains, the Elven Forest, and Blood Artist. I think Blood Artist probably takes the cake because that thing's freaking creepy. Okay, so if you are at all interested in Johannes Voss and their art, then you should go check out the Kickstarter campaign link in the description down below and click on that. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity one episode at a time.